Now to a big story capturing attention across the state. A Massachusetts hockey high school hockey player paralyzed from the waist down after being critically hurt this past weekend at a tournament. His injury is sending shockwaves throughout the local hockey community as this is the second player in the state to suffer debilitating injuries in just a matter of months. Western Mass News reporter Perseda Landaverde joins us live with more. Perseda. Yeah, well, Chris and Jordan, this now makes two high school hockey players in Massachusetts who have suffered severe spinal cord injuries in just this year alone. Now, today I did speak to a local hockey coach, and he says in his 50 years in the business, he has never seen anything like this happen before. As a coach and a parent, that's just not what you want to hear or see. The Massachusetts hockey community is in disbelief after Jake Tebolt, an 18-year-old Milton Academy hockey player, suffered a severe spinal cord injury this past weekend, leaving him with no movement from the waist down. This happening just seven months after A.J. Quetta suffered a similar injury while playing against Pope Francis in Springfield. John Arnold, a youth hockey coach with the Western Mass Wizards, tells us besides Boston University hockey player Travis Roy's notable injury in 1995, it is unheard to have two players injured within the same year. I haven't heard or seen um, major incidents that, like the one that happened to A.J. Quetta and then this recent one from uh, the Tabalt kid from... Academy. Western Mass News reported exclusively on AJ's journey. And since his months long recovery and physical therapy, AJ is back at home recovering. To have it happen in the same year, just it's horrifying as a coach and as a parent. And it's uh, it's sad for the players that uh, have to go through it, especially these young kids that have their whole life in front of them. Arnold says with hockey being a contact sport similar to football and lacrosse, sometimes the unfortunate can happen. Because, number one, the number of kids playing, and, you know, the, the fact of the matter is in contact, you know, uh, situations happen. Things that are unforeseen or things that can't be prevented. As a coach for over 20 years, he says the best thing players can be aware of is the space and time they have on the rink. Skating with your head up, keeping your feet moving are two, you know, very fundamental aspects of playing good, solid hockey. And Jake has posted on Instagram since his injuries, saying he is ready to fight for his recovery. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help him, and so far over $340,000 have been raised. A link to that page can be found on our website, westernmassnews.com. For now, reporting live for Western Mass News, Perseda Verde.